I'm Blondie Bites, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own personal website. Now, why may you want a personal website? Well, let's say you are a developer like me. You probably have all of these links that make up your online profile. You're going to have your GitHub with all your code, you know, for your, from your classes, you know, personal projects. You're going to have Stack Overflow, which is going to have, you know, you answered other people's questions, you know, you can answer questions. You're going to have your LinkedIn, maybe. If you go to hackathons, you'll have your dev post account. And you might have a Medium blog to show your creative. And so that's five links right there. And so your online profile isn't really consolidated in any way. A recruiter would have to go to all of these sites to kind of understand all the different things that you do. But recruiters don't want to do that. They want to go to one central place and then figure out who you are, understand, you know, what you're about, what matters to you, all of that good stuff. And that's what a personal website can be. A personal website can help you control your online presence in a way. Again, it's one website that has, you know, all of your personal projects, what they do, what tools you use. It's going to have your experience. It's going to have, you know, your about me, you know, biography type of thing where it's like, this is what I care about. This is what I'm excited about. This is the type of company I want to work at. You know, usually your personal website is used to help brand yourself, and that's what it's really a good tool for, because everyone can have a GitHub account, everyone can have a LinkedIn account, but you want to create your own personal brand that then people will want to hire you and stuff. Um, so yeah, now how do you do that? How do you create your own personal website? Well, you could use WordPress, you could use, you know, Squarespace, all those things, you know, out there in the world, but I find them difficult to use even as a developer. I find it very challenging that, you know, one, I usually have to pay something, like either it's for the template I like, you know, something like that, or, you know, I don't have the control I want. I want to change certain things and I don't have that control or I don't, I feel like it's too much trouble to go to that and it just is not a good situation. I want to be able to just go in, change some code and then it work out and it'll be great. Now some of you may not have coded before and that is okay. This will be a complete introduction. What we're going to do is we're going to take a template from HTML5 up. You could also use Bootstrap. You basically download it, edit it the way you want, and then we'll host it somewhere else for free. So this will be completely free, but it's basically a quick way to get your website up and running without doing it all from scratch and obviously for free. So in creating your first personal website, there are a couple things you should think about. One, what do I want on this website? What do I want to show? Two, what do I want it to look like? That's what we're going to decide right now. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to look at a bunch of free online templates. And so going to Google, we are going to type in bootstrap templates. And this is going to give us a bunch of free templates. And you might be wondering what bootstrap is but we'll answer that in a second. Basically, Bootstrap is a way to make your website responsive. And so that means if this is my website, when we make this smaller, the content shrinks as well. So I still can access everything and nothing's cut off. That means when you go to your website on a mobile device, it's still gonna look good, even though you know, you're know you not on a desktop display, which is really great for, you know, viewing it on all displays. And so that's what Bootstrap's gonna do for us and it's gonna do that automatically. And so here are a bunch of free templates. They are, there are only a couple and so that's why I don't really use Bootstrap a lot. I use another thing called HTML5 up, which is basically the same thing, but the templates I think are a lot better. And so you can pick your template from here and once you find one you like, download it, or you can go to HTML five up. Again, another way, a quick and easy framework. Don't worry about what framework means, but it's just something that you can use to make your website responsive, meaning it looks good on all screens. And there are a lot of good templates that you can just download that already work and you'll be good to go. And so here you are just going to pick out a template once this loads and you can just pick any of these and you can demo them, which will show you kind of how it acts in the real world or you can just download it. Um, my website is actually based off of one of these templates. I just wanted to get my website quick, you know, up and running, ready to go. 
and I used an HTML5 up template and I customized it so it didn't look exactly like the, you know, template from HTML5 up. And so this is actually the template that I used. I used Helios and we'll go ahead and take a look at it and then we'll take a look at my website and you'll see how it's kind of similar but not similar at the same time. And so this is a pretty website. You got this pretty image, you know, big, full. You could have your name here, some kind of description. You scroll down, you know, you have all your projects maybe here. You got a lot of good stuff, you know, about me section, you know, some more blog posts maybe. You can have all the information you want about yourself that you want other people to know that are looking at you for jobs all in this one website, all consolidated. And so that's what we have here. And this is actually the one that I'm going to use for this tutorial. You can download it for free. You can look at, you know, more expensive ones if you want to pay for, you know, an exclusive template, you know, $19, but there are a lot of free ones that no one really recognizes in the programming world, which is a little weird. Um, but yeah, you can just pick any of these. There's a lot of templates you can choose from and you can customize it in a lot of different ways. And so it doesn't look like the original template. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna pull it into the desktop here. Um, before we start working out on it though, I'm gonna show you my website. And so we'll go to blondiebytes.github.o, which is my website. And it's gonna look pretty similar. I didn't, I probably need to customize it a little bit more. But this is my website. You got beautiful New York in the background. Love New York. Um, yeah, and so I just have, you know, I'm about the film, I'm about the computer science and the community. These are the things I care about. You know, you got all these projects here. You got what have I done. You know, this picture is not of me, but I found it online and it looks like me, so I was like using it. Um, yeah, so you just, you know, you have all your information here, you just type it in. And it doesn't look exactly like this one because, you know, the whole experience section was different, but I didn't use a big image, but some kind of description. I used some columns here instead of one paragraph. You know, I didn't even have this section really. You know, I didn't have this section. I had, you know, I copied the little images down here so you can link to everything. If you're curious about those things, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, and this is live, so if you want to see this website, go ahead and go to my website. Um, but yeah, basically you can turn this template into the website that I created. You don't want to have to create your website from scratch, but you also don't want it to look like everyone else's website. And so that's what we're really doing here. Now how do we do this? If you've never coded before, you probably don't have something called Sublime, and that's just a text editor that we are going to use to edit the code that make up this website. And so go ahead, download it here. It's color coded, which is awesome. And so once you have it downloaded, go ahead and pull your folder that has your code into Sublime Text, and you'll get all of these folders in it. It'll look a little scary, don't worry about that. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to click on index.html and this is like the home base for our code, you know, it's our home base, it's where all our code is kind of connected, it's the skeleton of our code, where everything kind of comes together here. And so here we have a title, and so let's say we change that to Blondie Bites, you know and just change some of the plain text here. The plain text is going to be in this white color, and so anything that's like text in the white color, you can probably change. Here we have Helios, maybe we'll say my blog, you know, whatever. Change some of the code here. We'll take out the N, drop down, I don't know. You know, just edit some of the stuff in here, and then we're gonna see what it does. So we edited a couple things, and now let's go ahead and open up the index.html. And to do this and to see how it looks in a browser, we're just gonna drag it over, you know, open it up in here, and there you go. All of the things we changed ended up changing on this site. So here we made the title Blondie Bites in our previous code, and that's what we see here. We made in this big header, and h1 just means header one. This is HTML code, so go ahead and check out, check out the HTML video. It's just like five minutes. It'll give you a brief overview of HTML, and that'll kind of decode some of this for you. But notice I just changed that thing to my blog, 
And then I also changed this to drop down. So that had something to do with the nav bar. Um, so but yeah, that's basically how you can do it. Now getting this up to the internet, that's gonna be a different video and that'll be linked down below. You can do it with GitHub, super easy to do. You just create an account, it's all free. That'll be linked down below. But for now, let's just go ahead and see how we can mess with this website. It'll be a little bit of HTML overview, but that's it. And so going up to the top here, how do we navigate this? Well, an HTML file has two big areas. You've got the head and you've got the body. The head contains all of this metadata, metadata that you, you know, have, might have. And the only thing you're probably going to worry about is the title, which is basically what this little header thing looks like. Then you're going to have the body, which is the actual content of your HTML page. You have the header, which is probably, you know, this big header that's in the middle, and that would be this thing, just by looking and checking. That's how you know. You're going to have nav, which is your nav bar, most likely, and you can just change things in here and see what the result is on the other side, and you can kind of teach yourself a little bit. You're going to have the banner, and you can figure out where this is by looking at the text. So it says, hi, you're looking at Helios. That's what you see here. The carousel is probably the carousel of projects here. You know, scrolling down, those are all your, you know, carousel of things. You have features. Now you have a footer, and that's all you really need to worry about. And you can just change the stuff in here. You can start by changing the text, which is like this type of stuff, and then you can worry about changing the images and the links. And so let's try changing an image. And so one of the images down here, you know it's an image because it'll have IMG. So we just did a control F or command F, IMG, this is the source, and basically an IMG tag is going to allow you to show an image on the screen. This is HTML code, yeah. Um, and basically it's saying the source of the image is from images, and it's this picture, and that's what's being presented at this portion of the thing. And so if we look up, we see carousel, we see it's in a reel of the carousel, so that's probably this first picture here. And then the reason why it's linked is because the image is wrapped in an A tag, which basically is a link. And so if I click on the A tag, it's gonna go this, you know, hashtag, which is just a dead link. But let's say we wanted this to go to google.com. Let's say we put that in there and then refresh this. Go ahead and click on it. And now it's gonna take me to Google. So to really, you know, create your web page locally. And this is local because we haven't put it on the cloud or in the internet so anyone can access it. Right now, you are only, you are the only person that can access this page um, because it's local on your computer. You can send it to someone, but other than that, it's pretty much you are the only one that can see it. And so with this here, you kind of, you can do a lot of stuff now. You can change the text, you can change images, which you can do by just putting, you know, say you had a picture of a penguin, you put it into the images folder, and then you just change pick one to penguin here. Penguin, and then let's go, let's just, let's just do it right now, you know, penguin. I love penguins. Um, we'll go to images here. And this looks like a nice penguin. You know, we'll view the image. And just, you know, just give me the, give me the penguin. Okay. Save that image. And we'll actually just save it into Helios. We'll save it into images. And we'll call it um, penguin. We'll save it in there. Notice it's saved as a JPEG. And so we got to make sure that this is .jpeg. We save this. We go ahead and refresh our page and you'll know it's your page and if you have kind of the file thing up here and so that just loaded our page and there you go there is our penguin and i have low battery so yeah now you have this penguin you click on it it takes you to google so you know how to do images you know how to change text you know how to do the content of your page if you want to change colors if you want to change formatting that's CSS, and that'll be in the CSS video linked down below. So go ahead, pick out your template, change the text, change some of the images, 
And in the next video, I'll show you how to change some of the formatting issues. So maybe, you know, you don't like this color of orange or, you know, you don't like the way this font looks. You don't want Helios to be bolded or something like that. That's what we'll go over in the next video. And then I'll also show you how to host this onto GitHub. And that is actually in a video link down below. If you end up, you know, not wanting to change any of the formatting, you just want to go with it as it is, you'll be good to go. Um, one thing before I forget, any of these things that you see on the web page, you can completely delete it. And so say you did not want um, this features thing. And so if we scroll down, this is like a feature thing. Say we did not want it. We could go to features. We could delete this. And make sure you delete the entire div. And so don't worry about what div means, but you have div here. You got div there, those match up. And a div is basically just a container, a section of your web page. You just delete that, save it. You'll refresh this. And now that portion of your web page is gone. So that's a really quick way. If you didn't like one of the portions of your template, you can just delete it like that. But if you only want part of it, That'll be for the next video. And so I'll see you then.